Hey guys, Baron here, back with another LEGO review. Today's going to be a very special episode. We're going to take a look at uh, my MOC for, uh, this would be set 918. This is the one-man spaceship. This is a uh, set that I made uh, a little bit, a little while back. Um, set that I really, really fell in love with after I had built up the Benny spaceship. Um, another classic space set. This is uh, set number two of our reviews. And uh, this set was released in 1979 came with uh, 86 pieces originally, and uh, you'll notice probably a couple differences. Um, of course, this is not the original build. Uh, I would call this a kind of a modern uh, build of it. Basically, what I did was I took all of the same, um, I took all of the same parts that I had in my uh, inventory at the time and fashioned together the closest representation that I could to that ship. Now, you'll find that uh, this windshield here would be transparent yellow. This top piece here would be transparent yellow. And a couple things like that, like the uh, not having the RTS thrusters here, the uh, thruster on the back here, and also some people will probably notice that the doors here on the back are actually from the uh, Anakin's Pod Racer sets way back when. But, uh, so, but anyway, um, yeah, I really, uh, really fell in love with this set. Um, I wanted to build it as accurately as possible. Uh, up until the time, I did not have uh, the uh, actual real set to show off or have on display. So I, uh, until that, this was the ship that I really, just when I built it up, I had just fallen in love with and had kept it on display ever since. Um, of course, you'll notice that there's no, uh, there is no classic space logo here. I've just used a couple wedge plates, or a couple plates rather, uh, to build it up and then, uh, you know, just give it that same kind of look. The same uh, three, kind of three plates build on the side there for it. And uh, I realize now that it may be actually a little bit difficult to see on this uh, gray, uh, this light gray base plate here, so we may, we may switch that up in the future, but uh, but yeah, most of the uh, things on it I really wanted to keep the same. Uh, it still has that same light gray on blue kind of theme to it. And uh, you'll notice a couple things in the back a little bit different. I kind of took creative license and kind of took out some things there. Just mainly for parts I didn't have. But uh, I did, however, want to keep this main canopy opening function the same. So if you notice in here, you might actually find that there's actually some different parts in here. You got a little... Uh, open spot back there you can kind of see back there and uh also this clock and then also i put some other panels in there for him so it actually has a little bit more down there for him and uh but uh but yeah i just really wanted to uh, keep all the same angles keep all the same shapes and all the same basic play features because up until that time it just really was uh kind of my main model to show off and uh, of course it fits Benny down inside and just like the uh, space scooter that I uh, had just reviewed this would have also come with uh, this would have also come with a red classic space guy so it would have made sense that back then you would kind of see more and more of that and I don't believe it was until I don't believe it was until probably th two or three years later that they had introduced sets that had the uh, had the blue uh, mini space character that we're so fond of nowadays as a minifigure. But uh, of course, this was just just around the time as they were first making minifigures back in uh, 1978, 1979. So still very early on, but uh, it was cool that they had such a uh, intense idea of what they wanted uh, that theme to be and. Uh, like like most sets and like probably most uh, fans of Lego out there, I think it'd be very very cool if Lego brought back the uh, original classic space. Now most people know that later on this year, I believe it's in September or August, uh, I think that they are going to bring back actually the Lego spaceport theme. Not uh, not quite as cool as old classic space here, but still very very cool. Got his classic. Turned around to get uh, Benny turned around to his classic face there because he's figured that's all those old classic space guys back then. That's what they would have would have looked like. So, 
but yeah, this uh, this is one of my uh, very, very favorite sets, and I uh, really wanted to show it off, see what you guys thought of it. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below. This is, uh, of course, day two of uh, LEGO Classic Space Week. Be sure to uh, stick around and uh, go ahead and subscribe. You'll be seeing the rest of it. And uh, have a very special review coming tomorrow. You guys be sure to have a great day.